are at least believing that you are on a spiritual path, this is a good time because in today's world where there is such an onslaught of uh, sounds and colors and visu visuals upon our senses, in the sense if you were here hundred years ago, well, you saw greenery around you, brown earth, blue sky. If you had to see anything more dramatic, you had to wait for the sunset or get up early and wait for the sunrise. Rest of the day, this is all it was. Now it's not like that, if you turn on your television, colors are going on all the time or if you just open your phone, whole cosmos is happening there or just about anything that you want to see is there. So the amount of visual input and the audio input is so heavy today, that turning inward looks like a very remote thing for most people. This is a good time to check yourself out and also use this opportunity. In yoga, there is a dimension among the... in the Ashtanga yoga. Well, Ashtanga yoga, as some people think, is not a brand. Ashtanga means eight-limbed yoga, the eight limbs to yoga. One of the limbs is pratyahara. Pratyahara means taking your sensory engagement from the outside world and put it inside. In today's world, people cannot even comprehend what that is. Well, many of you who've been through periods of sadhana have experienced this. Well, even before I think happened with me. When I went away into forest, just to enjoy the forest and just to walk, for weeks on end when I just walked by myself in the jungles, I just realized that just not seeing human faces for a few weeks does something to you which is incredible. There were wild animals, but there were no human faces for weeks on end. Well, I noticed something very, very different in my system, a kind of uh, energy and exuberance which... Uh, which was kind of, you know, making me walk uh, a few inches above the ground kind of feeling. Though mostly these weeks I was largely starved, <laughs> no, I'm just laughing at the pains of hunger now because uh, yeah, they're very painful. But still, I was energized in such a way that uh, I would be walking almost few inches above the ground, that kind of feeling. And I realized it is... Uh, when I look at trees, animals, the engagement was one kind, you know, it's just looking at it, appreciating it or simply looking at it for what it is. But when you look at human faces, knowingly, unknowingly, there is a certain amount of transaction happening. Like, dislike, approval, disapproval, so many things are happening, you don't even have to participate in it. If you just look at someone, it just happens. So it is from then that I started kind of closing my eyes more and more because if I just close my eyes for hours and end in a day, consciously closing your eyes, not sleeping, uh, you will see there is a new dimension of energy available to you. This is what pratyahara means, that you took away the sensory engagement with the world and turned it inward. This is a good, good time if you're willing, wherever you are, to experiment with this, that uh, if not the whole day, 
let's say six hours a day or twelve hours a day or whatever is possible for you, you can even start with one hour or two hours, just keeping your eyes closed, not looking at anything. Initially, your mind may go all over the place, it's okay, don't try to control it, let it go wherever it wants. I want you to understand it doesn't go anywhere, it's just replaying old stuff. Oh, my mind will go somewhere. No, your mind doesn't go anywhere. It is... this is the illusion you have to break, that you believe your mind is going somewhere, which means you're misunderstanding psychological process for an existential reality. Psychological process is just made up by you, playing your own stupid, badly directed cinema and believing it's true. This is a good time, it's a good time that you try to do this in a day, a certain amount of time, whatever that is. You close your eyes and sit. But something... Something happened, somebody made some noise, somebody did something. Okay, not like that. Especially when you think something important is happening, you must close your eyes. Yes. Because engagement with the world has to become conscious, that's all. If engagement with the world is conscious, however much you are engaged with the world, it doesn't leave you you know, disturbed or freaked out. When your engagement is compulsive and reactionary, then you will see smallest things are throwing people off. Most human beings, just like earning a living, raising a family, dying one day. For this, how much turmoil people are going through is unbelievable. It's not even fair. Just to do simple things that every other creature is doing. Right now, look at the sparrows. Uh, evening family affairs, they are settling. With a bird brain. But they are managing it in their own way. For this human beings are... with such a big brain, freaking out. This is because their engagement with the world is compulsive not conscious. This is a good time for you to experiment with this, that you bring some pratyahara into your life. Wherever you are, whoever you are, it doesn't meet, matter, you don't need any training. Just sit with eyes closed. It's all right, mind is running away, let it run. Don't try to stop it, because there are no brakes on it. All the three per pedals are throttled, whichever way you touch it, it'll only run faster. So don't do anything, it will run. It will run because it has a certain karmic momentum. If you just leave it for some time without tending to it, it will slow down and it will stop. Do not worry about stopping the mind, not stopping the mind. All I am saying is, do not engage with the outside world for whatever number of hours that you can. Start with an hour, push it to six to twelve hours a day. You will see, uh, you will have the necessary energy to hit the peaks. Right now the biggest problem, why human beings are not able to become blissful and exuberant within themselves is lack of energy. If they're joyful for three minutes, then they will sink like that. Actually, there are sayings like this in the society. Socially people believe that if you become very exuberantly joyful today, tomorrow you will be miserable. This is generally said in the society. Don't be so happy because tomorrow you will become miserable. Because their batteries are like that. That today if they are very exuberant, tomorrow it will become depressed. So pratyahara is a key element to create that kind of an energy system which can take any experience of life in its stride and doesn't put you down. Good time to turn to Pratyahara. Mm. The important thing is, if you engage with your thought process, 
that is not internal, that is also engagement with the world. No, no, I did not look at anybody's face, I was just thinking. This is also engagement with the world because your thought doesn't belong to you. The content of the thought is all from outside. You are running a private world in your head, but there is no private world. There existentially there is only one world, you either live in it or you don't. Your private world is a madhouse that you made up. Sometimes, of course, it gives you some pleasure, but living in an illusory made-up world is not going to last for long. Especially if you... you know, people are always saying, I got disillusioned. This is my blessing, you must get disillusioned as quickly as possible. Because disillusion means all your illusions got destroyed. Should this not happen at the very beginning of life? It should happen at the earliest time that all your illusions fell apart. My blessing is, may you live in the majestic beauty of this creation, not in your own illusion, however sweet it looks right now.